I'm ready to put the next two rows on because I've decided that I want some color in the basket and I have decided what colors and what kind of a pattern I want. So I'm putting in two more rows of natural and I am going to go ahead and overlap the four. One, two, three, four. So if you watch this whole segment before you actually start, do the first one over four. It'll be a little easier. Now I'm going to turn it about a quarter of a turn and start so that it's on the outside. And you can just kind of grab the ends up there. Okay, so this one is one, two, three, and four. Make sure that your spokes are straight up and down when you cut them because if they're really cockeyed like that and you cut them, well, when you move that, it won't be in the same place. Now, this back basket has quite a bit of space in between here, and so there are a lot of different techniques that you could use because you have this extra wide space, like cross-stitching, randing, triple twining. But for this basket, I'm going to do some basic weaving with some wider reeds, and then I'm also going to do some twining, and this will be in the next segment.